Hello everyone, how are you all doing today? I am Mr. Michael and I'll be taking you through the section on qualities and uses of water. Can I hear you? Qualities and uses of water. Now, we all know what water is. We have water in our houses, we have water in school, hospitals, and wherever you. Now, it's important that we all know what water is so that we can be able to tell some of the uses and also some of the qualities of water. Now, coming back to what we have here, Water is explained to mean liquid. Liquid. Any liquid substance is regarded as water. Some people term them to be something watery, like it's watery. That's because of what? It's a liquid. It's not as solid as my marker. I cannot hold water like this. I can only hold water when I have it in in the rubber. Now I'm holding this rubber of water, this bottle of water. So I can only hold it when I'm having it in a bottle. But I cannot open it and hold water on its own. It's not possible. Okay. Water can either be good or bad. We have good water and we also have bad water. Now, what is a good water? Water that are good do not have taste. When you drink water, you don't feel taste. It's not salty. It's, it's not peppery. That's because of what it's good. Good water do not have smell. When you try to smell good water, it doesn't smell. Good water do not have color. Water is colorless. It doesn't have any color. So don't tell me that water is white. The color white and water do not have the same color. So water do not have any color. Good water do not have any color. After, after this now, we, let's look at what bad water is. Bad water have taste. Bad water have taste. Bad water has taste, has smell, and also has color. That's bad water. That's why when you see our drainage, the water that flows through the drainage, it's mostly bad water because it has color. It smells. It smells and it, ha and it has an awful smell, taste. So that's a bad water. Good water do not have all of these. Good water do not have taste, do not have smell, neither does it have color. Now, water quality describes the condition of the water. Water quality. When you say quality, quality describes the condition of something. So what is the quality of good water? What is the quality or what are the qualities of good water? Now let's go further. Water quality describes the condition of the water including chemical. Chemical. If there is any chemical substance in water, it means it has taste and it's a bad water. So a good water should not contain chemicals in it so that it doesn't give it a taste. When chemical enters water or enters a good water, it becomes bad because it will definitely have taste. So good water must not have taste. So we, we should not add chemicals to our good water. Physical. 
physical, if there are particles in our water, it means the water is dirty, it's bad. If there are particles, if there are dirt in the water, it means the water is bad. And biological characteristics. Why do we say biological? If any water has germs, germs, because there are some bad water that have germs that we cannot see with our eyes. Germs are tiny organisms. So when water contains biological elements like as germs, the water is unsafe and it's bad. So it's important that you note that good water does not have taste, smell, or color. Now, what we have here, qualities of good water, how can we tell the qualities of good water? A good water is pure. Good water is pure. It's clean and it's healthy for use. Good water is tasteless. It doesn't have any taste. Good water is colorless. It doesn't have any color in it. That's good water. Good water is transparent. You can see through the water. I have a bucket of water here. Now, I can see through the bottom, the base of this bucket because the water is transparent. Because the water is transparent. When you can see through the water to the base or the bottom of your rubber or your bucket, it means the water is transparent. Like what I have here, this water is transparent. I can see the dam. I can see the bottom of my bottle. So it's transparent. I can see. So if there are germs here, I'm going to see it. Or if there, if there are any dirt, I'm going to see them. So it's transparent. So good water must be transparent. This is a good water because it's transparent. Good water is safe for drinking, cooking, bathing, swimming. And what a view. Good water is safe for drinking, cooking, bathing, swimming. Now, having said these qualities of good water, what do we use water for? I have a rubber here. This, I can use water to wash my hands. I can turn up the, the, the tap and I can wash my hands with water. This is the use of water. I can use water I can make use of water for what? Drinking. I can drink it because the water is good. Water also can be used for cooking. We don't use dirty water to cook. Mommy do not use dirty water to cook at home. She uses good water. So good water is used for cooking. Good water is used for cleaning dishes. When you're washing your dishes, you don't use dirty water. You use good water to wash your dishes very clean. Good water is used for washing our clothes. As mommy, auntie, uncle are washing your clothes, they make use of good water so that the dirt on your clothes are going to come out very well and your clothes will be neat. Good water is used for bathing. You bathe with good water. You don't use dirty and smelly water to bathe. So you use good water. Good water is used to generate electricity. It can be used to generate electricity. Water can be used to generate electricity which is called hydro 
electricity. Let me hear you. Hydro electricity. Hydro electricity. Fantastic. Hydro means water. Hydro means water. Electricity means light. Electricity means light. So the light you enjoy in your houses can be generated using water. So it's important that you know that water is a liquid. Good water do not have taste, do not have smell or color in it. So you, you, you should also know that whenever you see a tasty water, or you see a smelly water, or you see a colorful water, such water is a bad water. In our next class, we're going to talk more on this. Thank you.